This chemicals coming from local plants in Covington and Smyrna have had residents up in arms for several months. And now nearly 200 people are coming forward to say they have cancer and they believe it's because of ethylene oxide coming from the plants. Haley Mason is live in Smyrna where some of those lawsuits are being filed. Haley. Rick, we know CBS 46 has covered the ethylene oxide controversy right here at the Serogenics plant for well over a year now. And today we're learning that more than 120 people are filing lawsuits against one company alone, several more filing just this week. In Covington, residents call it a cancer cluster. In Smyrna, they say it's just toxic. Today, nearly 200 people in both cities say they have cancer from decades of being exposed to ethylene oxide coming from the BD Bard plant in Covington and the Sterogenics plant in Smyrna. The level of this toxin in the air is astronomical. Darren Penn is one of the many attorneys with clients suing Bard. They have continued to use ethylene oxide at that facility uh, right up until today. One of his clients, Dr. Lisa Miller, is a Covington pediatrician who works a mile away from the plant and has lived a few miles away for 15 years. She has spent an, an incredible amount of time in close proximity to the Bard facility. This July, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She's 58 years old um, and is going to do everything in her, her power to defeat this. Attorneys say most of their clients have either myeloma, lymphoma, or leukemia and spent years near the plants. In all the file cases to date, we are seeking monetary damages. State Representative Eric Allen in Smyrna has been pushing legislation to get more air studies done. I'd even put forth a study group to look at the impact of ethylene oxide on communities in Georgia, and it, it went nowhere. BD Bard sent us a statement saying that people who live near the sterilization facilities are exposed to similar amounts of ETO as those who don't, and that it occurs naturally as well. They sent us tables showing that Fulton County has the highest levels, not Cobb County or Covington. And Sterogenics also responded to us this afternoon saying they, quote, empathize with anyone suffering from cancer, but they say that their uh, safe operations at their Atlanta location are not responsible for causing the illnesses alleged in the lawsuit. They say they plan to vigorously defend against the, quote, unfounded claims. Reporting live in Smyrna, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.